What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're gonna do Escape from Tarkanov again at 1440p. And that's probably where we'll stop, seeing as though we were barely able to get playable FPS for first person shooter standards anyway on this thing, just 1080p. I'm hoping the, the nice little jump will make 1440p a little better, if not maybe the same. But we'll have to wait and see. But I got OBS up, I got my iPad over there for my timer, so now I'm pretty much good to go as this thing doesn't have to move anywhere for this, that makes it super easy. We got the camera actually plugged in, so it can't, the battery can't die on us, it's impossible. In fact, even as I record, it charges. I always thought that it charged, like, decharged, even though it was plugged in while, at least while I was recording, but no, it charges, it just charges really, really slow. And in all honesty, this is probably absolutely terrible for this thing's battery, but Whatever, if it dot, I need to get a new, a better camera than this for the YouTube channel anyway. This was just kind of a stopgap because I wanted 4K and I wanted 60 FPS. And this was the one of the cheaper cameras I could get. And I also liked the idea of the gimbal for, and then once I got the badass, what you call it, tripod, I was like, okay, the gimbal is not really that important anymore. But I'm still gonna keep it around for when I do my car channel because it'll be great for like walking around and whatnot. And, and the outside, this thing gets way better picture. Even with all these lights and stuff, I always figure that's kind of noisy in some of my videos. But I'm probably just being overly crazy. Most people probably think they look fine, but still. Once I move into the new house, I'll probably get a like Panasonic G6 or whatever that camera is, GL6. But anyway, now, why don't we hop on into the game? Look at some settings and get some gameplay. Now, let's do ourselves some 1440p, but before we go and hop on into the game, let's just look on over the settings, shall we? So we're gonna start off on very low, of course, and work our way up to ultra, and then do FSR, and then my settings at the very end. That's the plan, anyway. Scroll down here, look at all the checkboxes, too. The only thing this seems to enable is this MIP streaming. No idea what that's all about, but let's go find out. Well, now let's go get into our 1440p now. I almost forgot to turn that on real quick, but we didn't. So let's turn it on. And we can't run across too high of water, so I guess you can't swim in this game, at least not yet. This is just a beta, so maybe you will be able to later. Probably not exactly what this game's all about, though, so probably not. Just kind of throwing that out there. I thought that was a little weird how I couldn't go over that puddle. It wouldn't even have really made me swim. I don't understand that swimming, but I can't even go up to like my waist, I guess. Oh well, not a big deal though. Yeah, so far I haven't come across too many bodies of bodies of water like that. Besides like that in the fucking ocean. And I'm surely not walking into the damn ocean. that frickin' lighthouse over there in the yonder. I'm eventually gonna try to get to that, but obviously I don't have enough time to get there now. And besides, damn it, I won't end the tank. Damn it. I guess vehicles aren't really much of a thing in this game, if at all. At least not yet. Obviously things can change, it is just a beta, but let's move on. Now for low. But before we get to it, let's of course just go through with the settings for low. And all right, into the game we go. Now here we go with some low. So let's just run around and see how low fares compared to very low. Far, it looks like we're getting around 100, 110, so definitely more playable, I would say. I like to at least get 100 FPS when I'm playing a first person shooter, that's just me. Obviously, some people probably find getting 60, as long as they're above 60. And hell, some people might even be able to handle 30 and above, but not me. Not in a shooter. Not like this is uh, very shooty with me just with my knife right now, but so far I haven't found any other one. I think this is mostly just kind of, what do you call it, scavenging. I probably have to like kind of be like Warzone, go, go into some buildings and find some. But since I'm just trying to get you guys footage, of course I'm never going to find anything. I have 
back on Boom again. Time to move on. On to medium now. So here's all the medium settings. And now, I think it's time to get into the game and see how medium does. Well, now for some medium gameplay. Let's run down this road for a little bit. Seems like we're getting close to 100. Seems like mostly 90s, high 90s. That's not bad. Hit the fuck out of this thing. I mean, why not? Hey, no, 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 don't fuck it. Take it. Mine now. Some cereal? Fuck yeah, let's do it. Mine now. Fuck you, papers. Here. Yeah, let's just leave that alone. I don't want to fuck around with that for too long. Let's move around again. Saw them on fire there for a burn barrel. A little tiny little thing there. Ooh, a big old duffel bag. Some matches, huh? And a couple other things. Anyway, screw all that. Let's instead move on. Let's do high now. But of course, first, we're going through the settings. So let's scroll through these real quick. And all right, already done. So let's go get into the game and see how high does at 1440. Well now, here's high at 1440p and it doesn't seem to be faring quite as well as it did at 1080p, but I guess in the grand scheme of things, they should have seen that coming. 1440 is a much higher resolution than 1080. Not like insanely higher like 4K is, but still higher. So even though it gets a little performance boost, sometimes it's not enough to give you more FPS. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. More often than not, no. But sometimes, yeah. This is apparently not one of those times. They got some quads in here. I wish I could just jump on one of those, drive around. Got right, so some woodworking tools. All right, we kind of get up there. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to, but it looks like this is good enough. Why don't we go ahead and move on? Now for ultra. So, we'll cruise through the settings first though, like we usually do. Pretty much turned everything on there now, besides that nymph screaming or whatever. So now, why don't we go ahead and go see how ultra does. Now let's do some ultra gameplay. We're still above 60 FPS, so that's at least good. I would often see like a little more if I was gonna be playing a game like this, but still definitely not bad at all for what this laptop is. And this is also DirectX 11, so even with all the updates, it's always a lot better with 12. So maybe later when this game comes out, maybe there'll be a DirectX 12 version or something, and then it might even get more FPS. But I'm thankful they at least did that update for DirectX 11. Otherwise, we'd probably getting, be getting under 60 or just barely scraping by at 60 right now, would be my guess.
There seems like quite a lot of stuff around. Like just cars and whatnot. Hmm, there's another tank. Now it's time to do some FSR. It's only FSR 1.0, but we'll do it anyway, starting with ultra quality. So first though, let's go finish looking through these settings here real fast. We're already at the bottom basically anyway. So there we go. Now to the game. All right, FSR ultra quality. Let's get a little gameplay in. Now it definitely seems to have helped. We were only in the 80s and, sh and like maybe low 90s before, so now we're up into the hundreds, so it has definitely done something. And it doesn't look that bad, but I can still say looking off into the distance into the fog and like everywhere else just kind of seems a little off. But if I'm not sitting here looking for it, I probably wouldn't notice. Obviously, I'm sitting here watching myself play, doing a voiceover, so it's easy for me to sit here and nitpick. Some people would be happy to have 100 FPS, you know, instead of, you know, it looking tiny, tiny, itty bitty, a little bit more crisp, you know? Well, seems like we got a thunderstorm going on. Just saw lightning and heard the thunder. All right, let's move on to the next FSR setting now. Now, let's just do FSR quality. But first, through the settings, here we go. But since there's not, it doesn't take us long at all, now does it? Look at that, we're already at the bottom, and it is already time to move on into the game. FSR quality gameplay now. Let's just run around. Yeah, and, the, and also this time Misty's sitting right next to me and not attacking this time. So I don't know what was going on earlier. Sometimes I think she just wants some attention. Or wants me to be quiet so she can sleep, one of the two. But obviously right now she seems to be just chilling, sleeping, so we'll see if she randomly starts like poking at me and trying to attack me. If anything, it seems like it went down a little, our FPS. But I'm going through like wooded area this time. It might just be because I'm going through a different area. But anyway, now it's time to move on to the next FSR. Now, FSR balanced, which is the last thing it lets us do. If I try to go down to performance, it's grayed out still. I was figuring maybe it didn't let me do it at 1080p because it was too low of a resolution, but no, it doesn't let me do it here either. Very interesting, but anyway, we've gone all through all the settings already, so let's get back to the game. Well, here we go. We're on FSR balance now. We can't do performance, so this will be our last FSR. Let's turn that on too. Otherwise, this is pointless. It's just me running around. Or you know I'm gonna forget to do that later, probably.
Oh well, if that happens, I'll either quit and redo it or just make the video that freaking one a little longer than normal to make up the fact that I didn't have it on for long. That's what I'll do. I've got solutions. But yeah, doesn't seem to really make our FPS go up. In fact, it seems to be about the same as it was on just quality. The only one that seemed to help at all was possibly ultra or ultra quality, but that could have, again, like I said, just been the area I'm in. That's the problem with these kind of games. Unless you, like, go in the exact flawless path you were on, then you can't, you know, get the exact same data, but that's okay. Trying to do that would have driven me nuts. Trying to start at the exact same spot every single time. I already tried to select the same area over and over again at least. Try to keep it at least somewhat consistent. Anyway though, let's go move on to my settings now. Now we're gonna try my settings out here. Turn a couple things off, but hopefully since we're not on a internal screen anymore, we're on external, we'll be able to get some decent FPS here. Cause I don't really want blur or noise in a game where I'm trying to spot people, you know? But anyway, let's hop into the game. Now let's get some gameplay with my settings here. May not be the super highest FPS, but still don't think it looks too bad or plays too bad. It definitely has a little stutter here on there, that's for sure. But again, we are recording, so that might just be OBS doing all that the whole time. I can only screen record and capture 1080p gameplay and Steam Deck gameplay with that capture card after all. I haven't figured out a way to do anything else with it yet, but once I move into my new place, I should be able to do all my consoles and all that stuff too. Oh, I remember what happened here. It was 420 right here, so I was hitting my bowl the whole time. I was just standing there like that, like an idiot. I should have just paused recording, but eh. I didn't think. I keep forgetting I can do that. All right, now I'm setting the dang thing back down now that I'm done with the hit. Just figured I would tell you what was going on. Otherwise, people would be like, why the hell is he just stopping there, staring off into space randomly? What the fuck's he doing? Huh. It's supposed to be cat, but they named it Tat. That's great. Tat. Nope. Again, we can't get in. I wanted to dig a hole with the excavator. Anyway, though. Now, why don't we go ahead and move on to camera? All right. Let's get ourselves a little camera gameplay here now. Seems like it's almost nighttime. Well, hopefully we can get enough camera gameplay before it gets too dark now. Because the last thing I want to do is get a bunch of night. Hard for me to see, and it's not really a realistic FPS at all. You gotta get some more stamina. I used it all up running. This is realistic. Unlike in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2.0, you would just sprint forever. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go sprint at full speed for five miles. And it's like, oh man, that's that's an interesting trick. Hmm. I wonder what the average is for like running top speed for a human, even like the top athletes. I'm sure it obviously differs from different from athlete to athlete. But like, I wonder how long a Cian Bolt can run like top speed for, for example. And I don't even know if he's the fastest anymore. But I'm just using him as an example because he's the only one I really remember people making a big deal about being the fastest. 
before him, I never really knew who the fastest person in the world was. Oh shit, I think Base Master Flex is home. No, that might just be a guy going by though. It doesn't sound loud enough for him to be home yet. Doesn't really bother me though, too much. Because I don't think it ever shows up in my videos, so that's the only time I'd kind of care. But I, I'm sure he ticks off the rest of the neighbors. Because he's got like a pickup truck and I think he's got the whole... He's got a cap on the back, and I think the whole cap is just filled with subs and whatnot. Such a silly Misty. She was sleeping, but then she did that stuff where she started trying to, like, attack me again. Here you go, I'll give you some pets. You want to some pets? Whoa, is that the ocean? It is. Man, she gets so close to her eyes when she scratches her face with her back feet. I would not trust myself at all if I had, like, razor-sharp, like, knives attached to my fingers to scratch anywhere near my fucking eyes. Nice sunset. I think I've been over in this area before. Looks familiar. I remember attacking this. Anyway, though, it's starting to get pretty dark, so why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up now? Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Escape from Tarkanov. And it did pretty similar to 1080p. And yet again, whenever I, I just literally did high this time, and I swear it was doing better while I was recording. Now, I've had this happen before or during ARC, where, where I was recording, I'd get like 120, 130, then I'd stop, and then it would drop down to like 70, 80, and it's because the like megahertz drops or something. I don't know what's up with that. But game's still totally playable. It never was like, oh, well, this is trash. But it is kind of a FPS element too, so I don't know if getting too much under 100 is going to be great for people that like actually care about being competitive. But me... I like playing first place shooters, but I'm not the most competitive person out there. I don't go ha I don't go get like a 400 hertz monitor or anything. I just happen to have a 300 hertz one on this laptop because I thought, well, I'd rather have that than the 1440p version. And I don't even think I had that as an option at Best Buy. I think that was just 1080p and that was it. So I think that's fine. Anyway, though, I would say it's definitely playable on the laptop as long as you're okay with not getting super ultra competitive FPS. But anyway, now it's time for me to go move on to the secondary computer and primary computer because I don't think this is going to run very very good on ultra wide or 4k but of course if anybody does want to see me do those just let me know and i totally will i just figured why take up time that i could be using to do other people's requests rather than doing those when they're not going to run that well but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next one peace out guys